Tanner, Tech Tanner, Tech Tanner, Tanner, Tech Tanner, Tech Tanner. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. So in a previous video, I made a capacitor bank with eight capacitors. It had about 1,000 microfarads and uh, 1,000 volts, and it was pretty cool. It was about 500 joules. Well, that was a fun capacitor bank to play with, and it made some pretty cool explosions, but I think I can still do better. So I went back to the electronics warehouse, and I bought 10 more capacitors. So now we have a total of 18 capacitors instead of just 8, and with a total of approximately uh, 2,400 uh, microfarads, which means that this entire capacitor bank should be about 1.2 kilojoules, which is going to be pretty fun to play with. This can make rail guns, it can make all kinds of fun experiments and explosions. With this capacitor bank, we also need to build an enclosure for it so we don't have to keep lugging it around and make it semi-portable and easily easy to access. So, this is the capacitor bank, and I'm going to do a little bit of a time lapse of us building this thing. It'll look pretty cool. Because think about it, if we did it like that, we could fit all the capacitors inside one section. Let's try it like that. Are you recording. filming? Huh? Are you recording? It's recording you, yeah. Interesting. What the heck? What? What? That nail messed up. Which one? Look at this. <laughs> what happened? Is that a jammed one? I guess so. That looks terrifying from my angle. Really? Yeah, just because you are <laughs> Good to me. Tanner, what do you have to say here? I think we got a prime quality build here. No, look at the camera and say that. I think we got a prime quality build here. Alright, so the capacitor bank is all hooked up. We've got a thousand volts at 2,400 microfarads for a total of 1.1 kilojoules. It's going to be powered by this microwave transformer. I've got this switchboard for my vacuum tube Tesla coil to turn it on. Got my DC volts gauge. We're going to charge it up. Uh, you got to have your eye protection and ear protection because this thing is going to be loud. You don't need ear protection. <laughs> then we're going to have a big gigantic chicken stick. Zach, show him the chicken stick. This chicken stick is going to be how we short out the capacitor. Hopefully aluminum works. I don't want to ruin my screwdriver anymore. It's a nice craftsman. Turn it off and I'll look. Wait, is this thing this thing isn't plugged in, is it? Go see if the go see if the orange extension cord is plugged in. It hit 200 volts and then it stopped. 400 volts. I think it's because that resistor won't let it. Okay, Zach, short it out real quick. Actually, we need to get a smaller resistor. Just hold up. My ears weren't covered. You're shorting them out from now on. That was loud. Okay. That wasn't the best. Huh? That wasn't the best we've had so far. That was pretty loud though. Did it work? No, it's too thick.
All right, my capacitor bank is just about done. I've got all my capacitors wired up in a series parallel formation. Thanks to Zach, he wired all this stuff. Uh, this is comes out to be 2,800 microfarads at 1,000 volts. So I've got my microwave transformer here to charge it up. My resistor, which is about 500 ohms, which is how we charge the capacitor bank without blowing out the transformer and my fuses. I just finished building this super cool uh, meter and it has a switch and this meter and it looks very futuristic so I'm going to set that right here to control the power supply for my capacitors and I'm going to mount it and attach all the wires together basically going to wire this resistor in series, the transformer, the diode, and the capacitor bank and I've also got to wire this meter in parallel with the capacitor bank to measure the charge so I don't blow it out and I can turn it off once it reaches its maximum charge. Well, there we go. It's time to hook this up and put it together. All right, everything is all charged up and ready to go. So I have it plugged in I turn it on. Charges it up just right. Perfect. I'm not going to shock this right now because my mom is sleeping, but there you go. Works perfectly. As always, thank you for watching and stay tuned for my next video, which will be sure to have lots of cool experiments with this gigantic capacitor bank now that I have it functioning at the proper level. This should be a lot of fun to play with. Right now it's still sitting at 600 volts, so this is super deadly, but I'm going to be building washer launchers version 2.0, coil guns, uh, destroying fruits, all kinds of fun stuff. See you next time.